Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can multiply a two-digit number times a two-digit number using lattice multiplication. The problem we'll do today is 47 times 38. Now if you've never multiplied numbers this large before, that's actually great because lattice multiplication is the easiest way to do these kinds of problems. First of all, let me show you the lattice. It looks like this. So this box is a, a lattice which is set up to do a two by two problem. So what I'll do is I'll write one number across the top, 47, lining them up along the columns, and I'll write the other number down the right hand side, lining the numbers up against the rows. So lattice multiplication look, works a little bit like a times table. So for example, this box is where the four meets the three. So in this box, I will put the answer to four times three. Now four times three is 12, and I write the 12 like this. This box is where the seven meets the three. So in this box, I will write the answer to seven times three. Seven times three is 21. This box is where the seven meets the eight. So seven times eight is 56. And in this box, that's where the four meets the eight. Four times eight is 32. So I first have to fill up all of the boxes inside the lattice using multiplication. Now to get my final answer, I have to add down the diagonals. So in this diagonal, there's only one number, six. In this diagonal, there are three numbers. One plus five is six, plus two more is eight. In this diagonal, there are three numbers, two plus two is four, plus three is seven. And in the last diagonal, there's just the one, so I bring that down. And I read my answer going around the corner of the lattice. So my answer is 1,786. And if you'd like, go ahead and check this problem either on the calculator or um, by doing this problem with standard multiplication if you know how to do that. So let's try one more problem with slightly larger numbers. Let's do 79 times 84. Now again, the first thing we need to do is have a lattice. Um, and this lattice is set up for a two by two problem. I write one number across the top, 79, and the other number going down the right hand side, 84. Now the first step of the lattice is always to fill in the boxes using multiplication. So I'll go ahead and do that. My first box here is where the seven meets the eight. Seven times eight is 56, and I'll write that in here. This box is where the nine meets the eight, and nine times eight is 72, so I'll write that in here. This box is where the nine meets the four, and I'll do that 36 in here. And this box is where the seven meets the four. So the 28 goes in here. Now you can do these boxes in any order that you like, but you must have all of them completed before you can begin the next step. The next step to get your final answer is to add down the, call, the diagonals. Now your first diagonal only has one number, so the six comes down. But in my second diagonal, there are three numbers that I have to add. I'm going to first add the eight and the two, because that's 10. 10 plus three more makes 13. I can't put two digits here. I can only put one. So just like regular addition, I'm going to carry the one into the next diagonal. So the th for 13, the three will stay down here, and I carry a one into my next diagonal, and I'm going to now add 
down the diagonal. 1 plus 7 is 8, and I know that 8 plus 2 is 10, and now I can add on my 6 for 16. Again, 16 won't fit in this space, so I leave the 6 here and carry a 1 into my next diagonal. So in my last diagonal, I have 1 plus 5, which is 6, and it turns out that my answer, I read around the corner, my answer will be 6,636. So that's how you use the lattice to multiply two-digit numbers by two-digit numbers. I hope you found this helpful, and I really hope that you'll try it. Lattice multiplication is one of my favorite ways to multiply, especially big numbers. So the only downside to lattice multiplication is that you have to have a lattice. For your first couple of times, I would definitely suggest that you use one that you get either from your teacher or maybe from the internet. But eventually, when you get used to it, you can even draw your own lattice to multiply any size numbers that you choose.